today is going to be very much audience participation day. I have gone with some very high-tech graphics using duct tape as my source of keeping this on the wall. Okay, so your, your answers are going to be, I know, I think I know, I have no sticking idea. Okay, that's your answers. Those are your keys. So, I've got to start out by actually saying a swear word, and I apologize. I hope you don't report me to the BNI, but I've got to use this cuss word, the IRS. For somebody who just heard that word, does, somebody, does your stomach actually jump a bit? I don't it's, think it's How many? <laughs> you hear the word IRS, you think enemy. You think the bad people. Ooh, okay, so my topic, the name of my topic today is, so, you think you know the IRS regulations, that's, that, that's, that's number one, or, so, you don't have a CPA firm representing you, why? That's the, that's, that's my, that's the name of my topic today, okay, so here we go, audience participation, question, is an S corporation required to pay quarterly estimated taxes? No. How many of you think, I, I know the answer, you know the answer, how many think you know the answer? How many, uh, I think, I, I know, I think, how many of you think you know the answer? How many of you have no speaking idea or don't care? Okay, what's the answer? What's the answer? You're all wrong. Yes. IRS says, sometimes. Oh, good. That's the answer. <laughs> Sometimes an S corporation must pay estimated taxes. An S corporation must pay taxes, in installment payments of estimated taxes, and a total of the following taxes is $500 or more, the tax on cap built in gains, the excess net passive income, and the investment credit recapture tax. How many of you got that right? None of you did. Right? <laughs> you did. Do you know about you know the recapture tax too? Yep, well, we're, oh, we're going to go next one. Question <laughs> two. Do yep. self-employment taxes need to be paid quarterly, quarterly or yearly? How many of you know this answer? Absolutely, 100% know the answer. One. How many of you think you know? How many of you have no stinking idea? Okay, good. If you are, if you are required to make estimated tax payments, the self-employment tax is paid by making quarterly estimated taxes payments, which includes both income tax and social security tax. But they didn't answer the question. They didn't tell you whether you got to pay them or not. So how do you know? You have to then click on three more depths. You actually took me 25 minutes to get this answer. And the answer is, there's no answer. It says, check with your, your financial planner or your CPA, is what they finally say. Or you may call this toll-free number and be on hold for about three hours. And they don't stink enough. And they don't stink enough. Okay. So exactly. Here's a here's a good one for you. Okay. This is um, if if I uh, if I if an applicant a size if I sorry, anticipate a sizable capital gain on a sale of investing during the year, do I need to make quarterly estimated uh, tax payments during the tax year? How many of you know the answer? How many of you think you know the answer? How many of you have no stinking idea? I love it. That's why you're our best client. <laughs> she doesn't fight that she doesn't know! But she can publish a heck of a great paper. Okay. Answer. You must pay estimated taxes of the current year, both in the following and the following apply. If you exceed or uh, you expect to owe less than $1,000 in tax in the current year after subtracting your withholding and your refundable credits, and you expect your withholding and re uh, refundable credits to be less than or smaller than 90% of your tax shown on your current plan, less what your dog paid at getting your, his teeth cleaned at Carl's Services. <laughs> Didn't say that, I understand that. <laughs> How many of you are already going, oh my gosh, why is he doing this to me? <laughs> are you having fun yet? No. Guess know. what? The ladies in my know. office love this stuff. They love it. Honest to God, my wife gets excited about finding these answers. Yuck. <laughs> okay, how do you report the sales of a second residence? 
How do you report the sale of the second resident? resident? You sold your second resident. How do you report that? How many of you know how to do that? It's One. Gonna, how it's many you think you know? How many of you have no stinking idea? <laughs> Woo there we go. We're, this is starting to become more and more the answer, folks. This is the answer. Your second home, such as an vacation home, is considered a personal capital asset. Use Schedule D. Now, Schedule D is a joy. When I went to that thing, I almost threw up. <laughs> Form 140A PDF, capital gains losses, then you've got to use Form 8949 PDF, sales and other dis dis uh, uh, descriptions of capital assets, to report sales, exchanges, or other descriptions of capital asset investments. Huh? Pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> God, this stuff gets me excited. Can't wait to go back and spend time on the internet to research this stuff. How many of you have stocks? Anybody have stocks in this room? Anybody have stocks? You guys need to meet with, you know, hope is not a strategy there. Okay. Do I need to pay taxes? I want to see if you know this answer. I'm going to tell Bo whether you know this answer. So no, 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 no excuses. No excuses. Do I need to pay taxes on additional stocks that I received as a result of a stock split? How many of you guys wake up in the middle of the middle night thinking about that question? I think you do. I need to repeat it? No. The answer is, yes. how many of you think you know the answer? Don't know. Really don't have any thinking idea. The answer is no. Okay. And I'm not going to read it because, honest to gosh, if I read this, you all will be crying. I read through this and it makes zero sense. I have a master's degree, but not in this. Okay. Losses. How many of you ever had losses in your business? Have you had a few losses? Okay. I own stock which becomes worthless, which became worthless last year. Is it bad debt? How do I report the answer? Anybody know the answer? Okay. If, if you own securities, including stock, they become totally worthless. Great answer. They already told you it was bad up here. Um, you have capital loss, but not a deduct for bad debt. A stock or either security is treated as becoming totally worthless. I don't need to read anymore. It just keeps going and going and going. Two minutes? Oh, you're going to see my best ones. I can do this all day long. Isn't this exciting? Isn't this rock and roll? Two more minutes? Let me ask you a question. How many of you in here right now, and you don't have to be honest, but you can put your hand up a bit, just shake a little bit, still do your own tax work? How many of you still do your own taxes? How many still do your own quarterly filings? How many still do your weekly, daily, monthly QuickBooks? My question is why? Why? Are you world class at your business? Aren't you world class at selling your product and or service? How many of you sit at night watching the Broncos, doing your quarterlies, entering your information? My point was with all of this is a couple things. I got to ask these questions at the end. Here's my point. How many of you still change the oil in your car? You jack it up, you do this nut bowl, you change your, how many of you, how many of you, not your husband, you still do your own oil? Okay, great, couple of you. How many of you still fix your own furnace when it's absolutely not working? There is nothing you can do, you got the two rocks. You try. How many, okay, how many of you fix? Not get underneath there and get dusty. Okay, next question. How many of you install your own sprinkler system? You were right in your rent. How can you put a sprinkler system in? How many of you do your own dental drilling? Oh, yeah. Call Carl. Come on, How dude. many of you have call Carl? Carl does. He's in there. Oh, honey, ah. How many of you do your own dental drilling? I think what my wife does is like dental drilling. It's painful, it's extraction, and it hurts. What, we're, what, what I'm trying to show you today is every single one of us have an area that we are world class in in our own business. Susan and I do not go out, and I hired Rob to build my website because I could do it. I could have gone with those one-on-one -on -one sites, done it, jacked it up a bit, thrown it on, and it looked good. But what he's done has made it fantastic. What Kathy does with our printing stuff, rock and rolls. This guy for all of our branding. I use the resources. I could do what these guys do. I could do it. Would I do it? Okay, yeah, because I'm a perfectionist, and I'll get it as good as I can do with the amount of information and skills I have. What I'm recommending to you, don't screw around with your finances in your business. You should not do it. It's too crazy. Because I'll tell you what, people that were, that were late yesterday are going to pay a huge amount of fine. 
And you know why they don't do it? Because they don't know what they have as they started. They didn't keep up with it throughout the year. So what we're looking for is to help you ease your mind with your tax work. Thank you.